five this week. And I'm back with another video. If this is your first time on our channel, welcome. If you are a repeat viewer, welcome back. If you are a subscriber, we love, love, love you. Thank you so much. You guys inspire me to keep going with every subscriber or every view of my of our channel or our videos and even the questions i love the questions so i will do my best to answer them um so just make sure if you have one just ask me if i know i'll answer if i don't know i'll research and then i'll answer so anyway what i'm going to do tonight is i'm going to do a video on the nfl mugs the um Methods that I use to make the mugs, I wanted to walk through that tonight, but for some reason, Cricut is not behaving well. So it allowed me to do one mug, and I will show you that mug. This is the Christmas, not the Christmas, I'm sorry, the NFL mug. It's an Atlanta Falcons mug. And I was going to walk you through how I did all of this. It's a little dim. Let me see if I can get some more light on it. There we go. There we go. So you can see that. And what I did was I have these images in a PNG. The football I got from Cricut and it was a free one. I don't have a membership to Cricut. And then this here was a PNG as well. Now, there's a couple things I want to talk about when you're using this and some pitfalls that you're going to run into and how we can kind of avoid those or e even if we can't avoid it, we can clean it up. So that's the mug that I made. Now, to create this, hopefully you guys are working with me at home. I love that when um, you're following my instructions as I'm doing the video. So to create or recreate this project you're gonna need a beer mug of choice this is a dollar tree mug you're gonna need that you're going to need some baby wipes you're gonna need some my podge i have the dishwasher safe and i have the gloss illustrious one you're going to need a paintbrush you're gonna need your handy dandy trusty tape measure you're going to need a weeding tool you're going to need vinyl to create your footballs and you're going to need your image of choice again this i um got these pngs from a group a facebook group that i was in and when my account got hacked i lost access to that group but i'm gonna walk you through how i got all of this onto this glass all right first things first you want to clean your your glass whatever you're going to put your image on you want to clean that up so that's um when i use baby wipes now having said that i do wash my glasses i wash them make sure they're good and clean before I start doing this part. And then when um, I'm ready to use them, I just wash them with a baby wipe and let it, let it dry. Now, sometimes I will take a cotton towel and I'll dry it. It just depends on how big of a hurry I'm in. So I have my trash bag here. You hear it rambling, rumbling. I don't know about you guys, but I go through a lot of paper. I accumulate a lot of trash when I am crafting. I don't know if it's just me or if everybody goes through that. So we cleaned our glass. This one I'm going to move out of the way. Oh, also you're going to need a glass or a cup of, I use hot sudsy water. So I'm going to put that there. All right, let's get started. Oh, before we get started, if you like what we do here, please consider subscribing below. 
if you want to know when we upload new videos, hit that bell and it will let you know when I am loading a new video. Um, also, if you like this video, please hit the like button. It helps me to know what videos you guys are enjoying and what I need to bring you more of. Or it just inspires me, honestly, to keep going and to keep producing and keep providing things for you guys. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Now, I'll show you how I got my images to that to the point to where I could actually work on them and get Cricut to cut them out. So you go into Cricut, of course. I'm going to cancel this. I'm going to make it bigger. Hopefully you guys can see that. Um, I'm going to do a new... going to do new. I'm going to save the old one. This is a Pittsburgh Steelers. So, oops. I'm just going to call this um, their mug design. Really creative, right? I want it to be easy. So when I go back to look for it, I can find it. So, I'm going to start with a blank canvas as I unhook my mouse so you want to go first of all your images if you're using a png then that image is going to have some extra stuff it is going to have some um pieces in it that's just not going to work for you you want to clean those up and get those out for instance if i go to cricut and i upload one of the images that I have not cleaned up. Let's say this one here, um, where is it? Not downloads, I wanna go to pictures. That's where it, it put the ones that I just uploaded. So let's say I want to use, we're doing a new one. Let's do the chargers. So I'm gonna click on chargers, I'm gonna click on open. I don't know if you guys can see all this white here. Well, if when I click on open and I go into Cricut and um, insert it or upload it. It's see all that white space. All of that white space is there, and Cricut is going to treat this as one image. So if I can hit continue, and let's go ahead and upload it in there. Cricut is going to see this as one big square. It's thinking. I don't know. Cricut did an upgrade last night. And it's not really working as well as it should. Or is, is it did? Let me pull this closer. All right. So see that big square? So when I go to print this out, Cricut is going to be like, oh my gosh, we just print a square. And it's going to be easy peasy for Cricut to, to print out. But I don't want that. I want the detail. Give me the detail, Cricut. I, I need to get rid of my white space and clean this up. So what you want to do, let's do, well, Let's leave it there for now. Minimize this. So I'm going to go online and there's a website called remove.bg. Remove.b as in boy, g as in girl. So you just want to type it in. Press enter. Voila. This is what you're going to get. So then you click on upload image or drop a file. So I can either upload the image or I can drag and drop. So I'm going to upload the image. And I want to say it was the chargers. All right. Let's see. I'm going to pictures. I'm going to go in pictures and I'm going to try to find it. There we go. I said I was going to do the chargers. Oops, my basket. Waiting six thousand minutes. Oops, I don't see the chargers. Ah, I probably don't see it because I'm looking. <laughs> oh, there it is. 
All right, so click on the charger and I'm gonna select open and it's gonna clean this up for me. See, it took all that white space away. So I'm gonna click download and let me see if I can find a female charger because what I was doing, I was making these mugs like boy, girl or female, male sports fanatic. So let's move that one over there and I will go back and choose upload image. And I'm going to look and see if I see a chargers female somewhere. Somewhere. Let's see. I'm looking. I'm looking. Um, that's cowboy. You know what? Um, probably let me just do cowboys. I passed it. I passed it. I'm all the way at the end. I passed it. <laughs> I passed it. Just going, going, going. I think. Okay, so those aren't the ones that I want. I guess that could be okay. Let's see. Who is this? Best Red Twins, Vikings, Seahawks, Falcons, Colts, Chiefs. But I still don't see a Chargers. Maybe. And maybe I'm just looking too hard. Well, they have the Browns. I don't know why they wouldn't have the Chargers, but they don't. So I'm going to get this Cowboys lady and hit open. I'm going to let it clean that up. I'm going to. So what happened when it went to clean it up is it cut her, her uh, knees out, part of her out. So sometimes when you do, um, when you use remove.bg, it will mess up your image. So you have to, that's a drawback. That's something you want to look out for when you are, um, using this this application so I said chargers right I'm just gonna do two chargers there we go which I really didn't have to redo this because I already downloaded it but anyway we're gonna download it again so I'm done with this website and I'm just gonna minimize it go back into Cricut now let's upload the new image Upload, browse. Mine dumps it into downloads. I don't know where yours would dump yours, but it's in downloads. And it, you can, the way you know that it's the file you're looking for is it says remove BG dash preview. So there's that. Nice and clean. Click complex continue. It's, I didn't mean to do that. I clicked on it so it removed part of the car. I don't know if you guys see that. So it removed that, but I'm going to um, undo that because that's not what I meant to do. All right, there it is. I'm just going to click continue and make it. Oh, not make it. Sorry, not make it. We're canceling that. <laughs> just that's not what I meant to do. Let's upload it though. Let's add it to Canvas. That's the wrong one. All right. Let's see if I can do this correctly. Upload the image. Let's browse for it. There it is. Let's see. It's the same one. So let's open. Complex. Continue. I want to continue. Click on the one I want. And I want to upload it. And let's click on it. You can see how clean it is just um, in the preview. But once we put it into Cricut, you can see. See, all that white space is gone. So when I send this to Cricut to print, I, I mean, after I print it and it cut, it's only going to give me this image. And it'll go around and it'll cut that out. So to size this, my sizing for my mug, I uh, customized the size. So I used the width is 
3.5 and then the height is going to be 4.75 that's the size that i use for this mug so that's the size that i use for it so once you get your image the way you want it of course you're going to click on it let's get rid of this one now i'm going to upload another one because i want to show you how i flattened it and got it um let's just do this broncos one all right, so there's the Bronco. I've clean, cleaned it up in um, remove.bg as well. So here's my, my two guys. I'm just going to highlight them and group them together. Now, you can, flat, you can attach them, which Cricut will put it together, but it still will print that as one. So if you're using... I use the Avery shipping label. So if you're using that, you can highlight it and choose flatten. And then when you go to make it, it's going to show you your image as one piece. So that's that. Now, when you print it, and I hate that Cricut's not behaving nicely, but you want to hit continue. Of course, it's probably going to do it because... Nope, it's still the same that's connected. So I'm going to cancel that. But there's a couple things I do want to tell you or make you aware of. So when you print this out, this black line here, it's very important. You want to make sure that black line stays intact and that you print that out because that's when you load that onto your mat, Cricut is going to use that to read those registration marks. And once it reads those registration marks, it will start to cut out your image. It'll give you that exact detail, that precise detail. Another thing I want you guys to be aware of is you have to feed the image in, the paper in, the way that you see it on the screen. You can't print it the opposite way because Cricut will not be able to read that. And if you're printing more than one, you want to put them in in the order that you see them on this side panel right here because Cricut will read the registration marks, but it still will cut it out incorrectly. So just a couple things for you guys to be aware of. So I'm going to cancel this, but I wanted you to see how I got to the point to where I had the crisp cutting on the images that I have. Now, this is, a, this is um, the New Orleans Saints. Now, the color may not be as crisp or popping as you are used to, but once I get this on, I'm going to put my podge on it. I have one that I my podged already, which is this one, and it gave it a shiny gloss. I don't know if you can see that. And I'm going to epoxy this. I'm going to epoxy them all. Just the image, but not, not the whole glass. But I, I want to epoxy this image because I want whoever gets these, I want it to last for a long time. This one isn't finished. There's, I'm going to put something on the back. I don't know if I'm just going to do all footballs or what, but it just depends on if I can find a female um, 49er. That's the 49ers. All right. So now once you feed it in and Cricut has read the registration marks and it starts to cut out your image. You just wait patiently for it to cut out and then you um, can start to assemble your glass. I'm gonna push that out of the way. I have a towel that I was using to clean up the glass a little more to take the lint off of it because those baby Wipes will leave some lint, but I don't see it, so I'm going to take the sock. I know I left it downstairs because I had to get my dog all the way together. She was not behaving nicely, so I had to get her all the way together. So this is a clean sock, and I'm just going to take this sock and remove some of the 
debris that the, the baby, and this is just elbow grease. The solution that I really love to clean my um, glass materials with or glasses with is vinegar and water. All right, so this is the, the mug. I'm going to sit it up. Let's see. Can you guys see it? All right. I hate to move this thing. But what, what I did was I figured out where I wanted to put my images. So that can go there. And this one is going to go on the other side. But this glass, like I said, it's a Dollar Tree. It has a, a line right through the middle. So I can see where the seam is or, you know, where you can line it up. So I'm just going to peel this. I did uh, cut it with Cricut and I weeded it out. So you just want to peel it back. And you just want to put it on your glass. You want to always remember that the person's hand is going to be here. The person's hand is going to grab it here. So you don't want your image right up on there. So you want to bring her over just a little bit. And remember, I, you have that line here that kind of lets you know when you're centering. So I just added her there. She's very pretty. So she's there. And then Mickey Mouse is going to go on this side. So I'm going to take my sock again. And all I'm doing is just shining it up a little bit with the sock. Now, we're going to take Mr. Mickey Mouse. Now, Cricut cut this very precise. The little pieces here, like where his hand is, that's cut out. Uh, around his ears is cut out. All of that's cut out. So I can just pull this and open it up, right? Just like this. And there I have Mickey. Now, I did go and try to do something funky, weird with his eye. But um, when you Mod Podge, it cleans it up. So Mickey is going down. Let me show you how I'm putting Mickey on. Mickey's going down. You're going down, Mickey. All right. And I just gently, because this, when you're doing this, it cuts it so precise. And this, this is the same thing you would do to make stickers. I don't um, burnish this because, like I said, these are very fine, intricate cuts. So I don't burnish it. So that's the glass. And the other piece I'm going to add is footballs. Now, I had some brown vinyl that I was going to use to make some gold or make some footballs to match that, but Cricket decided it didn't want to act or behave nicely. I think Cricket did like a big update, and every time Cricket does a big update, it doesn't go well. So we're going to use these black footballs, and I'm going to, and you'll need some transfer tape. And I'm just going to, this is the piece of transfer tape I used to put the red ones on. So I'm just going to... Use the same piece to put the black ones on. And if you've been following this channel, you know I like abstract. So I, I'm going to put the footballs wherever. And you just put your transfer tape on. Let me move, see if I can move this a little bit. Sorry. I know that was not a good thing for me to shake it like that. But I want you to see I'm burnishing my footballs with the tape and I'm just peeling them. See how easy it comes off. This tape is amazing. Amazing. And I'm just go I'm just going to go in and put a football wherever I feel like it needs to go. Don't do that. Now this football I got from um Cricut was free. It'll work better if you have a, a, a thicker vinyl. This is the um, Oracle 651. And it's a good, although it's permanent and it's a good vinyl, I use Cricut had like a, um, 
a thicker vinyl that I used to make the red footballs with, and it was amazing. It came right out. It came right off. I didn't have these problems. I didn't have these problems. All right. And once you do that, you just want to um, gently remove your transfer tape. Once you burnish it down, just gently remove it. If you have to bend it, bend it. If you have to hold your breath, hold your breath, because we want these footballs to come off really well. So there's some footballs, and then I'll throw one in here. And I know the person's hand is going to be in there, but they're not going to be rubbing up against that part. So, And if you want, if you want to mod well, no, don't mod podge it. It's, it's permanent vinyl, so you should be fine. And all I'm doing is going in and just filling up the space with some footballs. All right, I'm gonna put one there. All right, I'm gonna put one. Ah, no, 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 you don't get to do that. You have to stay here and play nicely. Now, I know what you're thinking, if it's coming up here, what? I give it to the, per the customer or the customer purchases it. Purchase makes the purchase. Is it going to come up? No, it will not. Once this um, actually settles onto the glass, it's not going to come up unless they purposefully try to peel it up. And I don't know why anyone would do that if they're spending their money and they're purchasing this for themselves. Um, yeah. Put another one on. I think that's about it. Let's put one over here. Let's see here. And I'm going to do one more. See, it's it's adhering back to the glass, even though it's lifting up. I was going to do one there, but I need to leave room for him for whoever is going to own this thing to drink. So maybe we'll put one here I saw another I think that looks okay I think it looks pretty darn good all right so that is the assembly of the football glass now let's go in and start talking Mod Podge so you can use whichever you like, the dishwasher version or the gloss. It's totally up to you. I'm going to use the gloss because I use, actually, I'm going to use one of each just so you can see if there's a difference. Maybe there is, maybe there isn't. So at this point, I'm going to put away the things that I do not need or that I'm no longer using, so I'm going to move this final out of the way. The footballs I'm done with for now. I'm sure I'll think of something else to use them on. Now, I'm going to take my little glass, and I have this one, and then I have this one this is this one i'll use for the finer points this one is it's too big so i won't be able to use this one let me look and see what other size i have size does matter hold on one second So I'm finding some. I have some paint brushes that I can use. I was looking to see if 
thank you for your patience. So I found three paintbrushes that I'm going to use. If this was, if I was working with a larger image, then I could justify using that big one, but I can't. So, um, I didn't want to do that. I am looking for something that I can put the Mod Podge on. And I should have had that before I started recording, but I did not. I used to put it in the top of my Mod Podge, but I quickly learned that that wasn't the best thing to do. You know what? I'm going to use some butcher paper. And the reason we're going to use some butcher paper is because I don't want to ruin my Mod Podge by leaving the lid all sticky and then the Mod Podge sticks to the container and I can't open it anymore. And Mod Podge is not cheap. It is expensive. They do have some at the Dollar Tree. But um, it's the smaller one. And it's, I think it's this one. The Gloss Illustrious. So just pull this back. Pull that back. Just going to pull some. You don't need a lot. And then I'm just going to take and clean it up with this. We didn't start putting it on this one. But I'm going to clean it up because I don't want this to stick together. And then I can't use my, my, my product. Clean all that off of there. And it's good to go. So put that back down and close it. And even if I waste some, I'm okay with that because it's better to waste a little bit than to waste a whole lot or the whole entire container. So I'm just taking my time going in here and just painting um, Mickey Mouse, his ears, and just painting this down, going in sideways to paint his bandana down. And I'm just painting it down. I will go. I try my best not to go outside of my image. Sometimes you can't help it, especially if some of the pieces are um, sticking up and you want them to, to lay down. I'm Like I said, I'm going to epoxy it. So putting epoxy onto the image, I will be more careful. I won't let the epoxy run off. But uh, with this Mod Podge, I know that I have to use this to hold that epoxy down. The Mod Podge will dry clear. As I showed you on my other image, it dried clear. You couldn't even tell I had Mod Podge on it. That's just how clear it dried. I am very generous with this Mod Podge. I don't really care that... Um, I'm wasting some or I'm not going to use it all. All I care about is that my image is stuck to my glass and it's going to stay. It's going to give me some good staying power. So all the little pieces and this is glue. So of course, you know, you can get this off the, the excess pieces you can get off. Even if you over run it with Mod Podge. Even if you overrun it with Mod Podge, you can still, I mean epoxy, sorry. If you put epoxy on your glass, you can clean that up with some um, acetone. You can go around and clean up, trim it up with some acetone. But like I said, I want to make sure that my image is down evenly and smooth. The Mod Podge will give the, that's good and covered. Like I said, it'll dry clear. The Mod Podge 
will give the epoxy something to adhere to. So you will be able to get your epoxy on. And I'm going to go very thin. It's going to be a very thin layer just to seal this image onto this glass. It's not going to be the same method that I would use if I was making tumblers or when I make tumblers. Just a thin layer of epoxy is all I'm going to do. Now, you see this Mod Podge is, is giving a little sheen to this glass, this image. And that's the beauty of Mod Podge. It does give you some sheen and some shine. I got some of it on my football. Now, the um, stickers that I use, they're waterproof. So even if you don't use the Avery shipping labels, which this that's what this is, you want your paper to be waterproof because this Mod Podge is water-based. So you don't want to take your time and print out your images and trim it up for adhering, adhere it on, and then wash off your image because your sticker paper is not waterproof. Now this is it. You see Mickey has already started to dry clear from where I had that Mod Podge. Now she will do the same. That's all for this um, dishwasher safe. So I'm gonna take my brush and swirl it around in the water. Clean it up a little bit. There we go, just let that sit. And now we're going to use the gloss mop podge. Uh-oh, I think we are. I did what I said I didn't like doing it. Oh, no. Oh, thank you. You do love me. Okay, I don't know why it was tight because it didn't. Um, try not to use as much as I did on the other. All right. Probably going to need more than that, but... I'm going to take and clean it up. All right. Now we're going to get the Falcons. And I'm going to start with her because she has some more intricate pieces, like her earring that I need to make sure they're laying down. Uh, some of her uh, her hair, uh, Cricut went in and cut really intricate with her hair. So I need to make sure her hair is laying right. Um, this is, she's beautiful. These are some beautiful pieces. I don't know who put these together, um, but they are very beautiful. Um, some of my wording, Cricut was very intricate with it. So I had some pieces to not want to cut correctly. So I'm using the Mod Podge to lay those pieces down. And once they dry, they won't move. If you have friends who are big football fans, this would make a nice Christmas gift. It's not very expensive to make. But you can sell it for whatever you want. You don't have to sell it for what you paid for the glass and you know the the shipping labels or whatever paper you use because your time is involved she's pretty oh this is nice just a sheen on it um from the mod podge gives it a nice nice look and the epoxy is gonna make it I do see a problem here. I have this football is on her her leg or her knee. So that's a very fine image. So I'm going to peel that off. That one has to go. I did have some left over. When I duplicated the footballs, I duplicated about, I made 10. I make 10 footballs, so 
I have a few extras. All right, let's take this off. Trash bag gets the debris, the, gar the, the garbage. Sit this here for a sec. Grab my tape. I'm gonna burnish this. Come on, don't do that. And then I'm just gonna put this back where it's not on her her leg. So I'm gonna put it right there. All right. So now I'm just going to finish up my my pudge my podging not my budging my podging her image this image my image make sure i got everything laying down because when you put that epoxy on it you don't want any pieces uh raised up because that my podge will go under the image and then cause it to bubble and you got all kind of problems and we don't we don't want no problems all right let's go over and do mr mickey mouse just going to put a good coating on Mickey Mouse and move from there. Mickey looks mad. He looked like he was not happy to be wearing that Falcon's uniform. Come on, Mickey. Rise up, buddy. Rise up. When this dries before you apply epoxy, you want to check these pieces that are that are looking a little suspect. You want to check those. If it's not to your liking, try to use some scissors to go in and cut those pieces off before you put your Mod Podge on. Just so you can um, get a good foundation for your Mod Podge. I mean, for your epoxy. All right, so this is almost done. Got to finish his car. I don't even know what kind of car this is. I'm not into cars. My husband is, though. He's anything with an engine. He's into it. And he could probably look at this car and say, oh, that's a blah, blah, blah. I don't know what it is, but he could. All right, so these have the, this has been Mod Podge. I'm going to show you the other one. And it hasn't dried yet, but this this one has. And you can see it dried clear. Looks like there's a little bit of raising here. So I'm going to have to fix that right around his face. So I'm just going to fix that. And it won't hurt if you want to go in here and clean this up before you start my, uh, the epoxy process. All right, guys, this is it. Those are the football mugs. This is how I made it um, using shipping labels. That was the video, how to make football mugs using shipping labels. And I did use some vinyl. So, again, thank you for watching. Happy crafting. Like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.